Hexatronics Underground Fiber Distribution Hub Installation Instructions Once the vault is set, you will be mounting the swing arm to the vault, FDH bracket to the swing arm and FDH to the FDH bracket. While handling microducts, you will need the following hand tools, an assembly cutter, a microduct cutter and an outer sheath knife. Additional tools are required for mounting the swing arm. A masonry bit is only used when installing into a polymer concrete vault. The swing arm will come with all mounting hardware such as bolts and washers. You will begin by measuring approximately 2 inches from the base of the vault lid. This will mark the top of the swing arm. Level the arm and drive in two bolts with a half inch socket to keep the swing arm in place. Install the remaining eight bolts and washers. When installing into a concrete vault, you will start by marking all ten bolt locations using the bracket or a template. Next, use a 3 8 masonry bit to drill the marked locations and then tap in anchors. Now you can secure the bracket with the 10 bolts and washers. Slide the two spring nuts down the U-channel to the desired height. Be aware that once the FDH is mounted, it must clear the opposing side when lowered. The spring nuts should be about 2 inches apart. Secure the FDH bracket to the swing arm and tighten with a half inch socket. Set the FDH into the bracket and attach the FDH using the three supplied Phillips head screws. When connecting microduct pathways to the FDH tails, use a 7 to 5 mm reduction connector. Only remove the tail end stops when connecting an incoming microduct. Make sure both ends have 90 degree cuts and have nice round openings. This will ensure a good seal. Rounding tools are always recommended to have on hand. Both ends must be pushed all the way in as shown. To open the FDH, simply push the release and remove the clamp. Inside, the FDH houses up to three 1x32 splitters, 192 splices and 96 LC adapters for connecting customers. It comes with an intelligent design to make management and maintenance organised and intuitive. Included is the mounting bracket hardware and 145mm splice sleeves. Splitters are located on the opposite side of the splice cassettes. Stingray drop fibre can be routed into the mixer and through the bottom tunnel. Fibre management should be neat and contained. Use the duct expander if necessary to round out the duct when fibre has been installed. Always use a strain relief to protect and secure the fibre unit. Remove the stingray jacket before entering the splice cassette. Be sure to follow best practices when handling fibre. When complete, seal the enclosure. To lower the swing arm, simply lift the arm and lower into the vault.